This is the certified bullshit awards for the coronavirus and over the last 13-14 months most of the claims were made by people such as Andrew Kaufman, Amanda Volmer, Peter Borger, Del Big Tree, Mark Steele, Stefan Lankar and then repeated by big name conspiracy theorists such as David Icke, Sasha Stone, Pete Shimarani during February to August 2020 all over social media weakening, compartmentalizing and creating many narratives honeypots and smaller communities for which the truth community can then create its embellishments, misunderstandings, misrepresentations, lies to spread fear and bullshit information amongst the rest of the community. Then people created echo chambers based on these beliefs from this information given out and fell into the design pattern of going to the government controlled and managed protests to show their anger which is known to some as the revolution illusion or the revolution trap where people believe that by spending 50 to 100 pounds on going to a protest that they are somehow going to fight the government at the same time it's also good to go to protests if you live nearby your local area because then you're not giving money to corporations so first up in at number five is brian rose who at the start of the pandemic was going around telling people that his YouTube and all platforms were getting deleted and please donate, please buy mugs and t-shirts so that he can build a new platform. Now he's running for the London Mayor. Number four goes to Mark Steele, weapons expert who went round Gateshead lying on the internet and telling people wrong information about 5G when in the end he was working for the EU and was exposed by a number of people. So in at number three this year has to be David Icke because he was just passing on easily debunkable and nonsense pseudoscience that was passed on by Del Big Tree and Andrew Kaufman but he just took it on the chin and made a lot of money through lots of ways and platforms and how he was doing it. So in at number two is Andrew Kaufman who said that the CDC didn't have isolated viruses, no viruses have ever been isolated, chromosome 8 is what the coronavirus is, then he changed it to they are exosomes, he's also said 5G, there's a number of things that he said which are just totally nonsense and made up and have been debunked by at least 20 people in a number of different ways and how he just totally cherry picks and misunderstands just basic science which he then doesn't bring his own alternative he hasn't bought his own alternative test he hasn't debunked the official test so this is what a lot of virus denialists or all of the virus denialists do is they denounce the official narrative they don't go and disprove the official narrative by doing tests on it and then they don't bring their own alternative in scientific setting that we can all sit around and scrutinize and talk about which is what science is all about so then in at number one is Kate Shimarani. She's lied a number of times about a number of things. First she was going around the internet saying that people should treat cancer with dog worming tablets. Um, she then moved on to 5G with Mark Steele as she got more and more popular on the internet and Facebook uh, mainly around 2008 and then it moved into the coronavirus in 2020 and she got even bigger was spreading information that 5g is going to kill people um, but she even says that the virus has never been isolated or replicated and so many schoolboy errors in her claims she this year gets the certified bullshit awards and so many people loved her, a number of people fancied her and believed her nonsense theories even though it's been proven by a number of people that she was also working for the ECHO project which is run by the EU alongside Mark Steele and was basically just put in to disrupt, make people that spread her information around 
get discredited straight away because it's too out, so out outlandish and easily debunked and nonsense pseudoscience. Kate Shimarani, the award is yours.